Hello, hello, hello. Today is Monday, September 25, 2023. It's Yom Kippur, which is the holiest day of the year in Judaism. I posted problem 182 four days ago on September 21, which was also a very special day. That day, the sun was everywhere on Earth 12 hours above the horizon and 12 hours below. And the sun rose exactly in the east and set exactly in the west. Problem 182 is about relativistic Doppler shift. Most of you are not familiar with the theory of special relativity. As of today, only two people have the two correct answers for the angle alpha, where there is no red shift and no blue shift. And four people have one of the two angles correct, which means that they knew exactly how to take time dilation into account. My goal is to teach you physics. You would do yourself a favor if you simply googled relativistic Doppler shift. You would then be able to tell in a matter of seconds that if alpha is 90 degrees or 270 degrees, that there is then a red shift. Thus, those are not the correct answers. Key is that the relativistic Doppler shift depends on the angle alpha, on beta, which is the speed v of the galaxy divided by c, but also on the time dilation, thus on beta square. Do yourself a favor and Google relativistic Doppler shift. Once you have wrestled with some of the solutions, you will get much more out of my solution than if you only read my solution. My solution will be like a mini lecture. I worked very hard on that. The math is very simple, and so is the physics once you include time dilation. You may greatly benefit from it if you had already tried yourself by googling relativistic Doppler shift. I will give you four more days to try, so I will post my solution on September 29. I will be in Europe from October 4 to 15. I may send you a new problem from Europe on October 7. But I'm not sure about that yet. What I am sure about it, though, is that we will always be friends. That's a given.